In a dark room where there is no light at all, 35 coins are scattered on a table. Exactly 10 of them have heads facing up. There is one more table in the room. How do you move coins from the first table to the second table so that there are equal number of coins with heads facing up on the two tables? Due to darkness, you cannot see the coins. Also, you cannot feel the texture of coins. The total number of coins on both tables need not be the same. Only the number of coins with heads facing up needs to be the same. As I always say, start solving a complicated puzzle with least possible value. So we can consider a case of two coins placed on table 1. Consider exactly one coin has heads facing up. Now if you move any coin to the second table, the number of coins with heads facing up will be unequal on the two tables. But there is only one thing you could do to make it equal, even if you are in darkness. You can simply flip the coins while placing on table 2 so that the number of coins with heads facing up will be equal. Let's quickly consider an example of 5 coins out of which exactly 2 have heads up. Since 2 coins have heads up, you should move any 2 coins and while placing on table 2, simply flip them. If you move 2 coins with heads facing up, they will become tails facing up on table 2. Now the number of coins with heads facing up is equal on both tables and that's 0. If you move 2 tails up coins, they will become heads up on table 2. So the number of coins with heads facing up is equal on both tables and that's 2. And if you moved 1 heads up coin and 1 tails up coin, they will simply be reversed on table 2. So there is one coin on each table with heads facing up. This way you can solve it for any given number of coins. You only have to concentrate on the number of coins with heads facing up. The puzzle statement says there are 35 coins on table 1 out of which 10 are heads facing up. Since 10 coins have heads up you should move any 10 coins and while placing on table 2 simply flip them. For example. If you move 10 coins with 8 heads up and remaining 2 tails up, after flipping you'll now have 2 heads up coins on table 2 and that's equal to the number of heads up coins remaining on table 1. This approach works perfectly for any combination of coins you move. Hope you guys enjoyed, please like and share the video and if you are new please subscribe to my channel and stay updated with a new logic every week. Till then give a try to these reverse puzzles. Also check out interview riddles on my channel Logically Yours.